Okay, I'm back. That's right. I'm gonna try just a little, a little more finger fitness. A little more finger fitness fun. I'm gonna teach you three quick moves real quick. Okay, just gonna teach these to you. That's gonna be the plan. And then we're gonna break it down one digit at a time. Does that make sense? I know we're kind of patiently waiting for a few people to get here. And just let me point out to you, this is the great wall of hands. I call it my hand command center. Hands from all around the world. That's right. I wanted to show you also a couple, like a couple little tricks and uh, some things with the spheres. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen some of the sphere work before. This kind of stuff. So, okay, just to get started, let's try some simple tapping moves. I'm going to try to move this down just, just a little bit here. That makes sense, I think, to me. Table up. Table up. All right, everybody, this is pretty high tech now. I'm going to show you this coin trick in a minute. So let's just... Let's keep, it's, it's a nickel trick. All right, you know that much then. <clears throat> I call this the taps. This is really good for like guitarist, anybody who needs, needs dexterity, coordination. Tap your finger just one at a time. Two at a time. Every other finger. All right, you guys with me on this? Check this out. My name is Gregor. When you are at the Great Wall of Hands, this is the Hand Command Center. And I'm here to hopefully Make you guys smile, make you laugh a little bit, but mainly make you think about how important your hands are to you, to you. I mean, think about this. The better your hands are, the better you can maybe play a musical instrument, catch a ball, type. It's good for kids with fine motor skills, so many things. Okay, the three quick moves are going to go through real quick. Folding, tapping. Pushing back and forth. See how that works? Fold, tap, push. Does that look a little crooked to me? I don't know about that. It makes me dizzy if the camera's off. You know what I mean? Folding, tapping, pushing, but you want to go really nice and slow. I'm showing you guys some exercises that can really help your coordination if you're a music musician. See how that works? Fold, tap, push. And you just go right down like that. Any musicians here? Any any athletes? Can you tell me what you, what you guys are doing there? This is a cool move. Let me show you this one. Start with your little finger and then open up. And then back around. Start with your first finger around. See how that works? And then your little finger.
any musicians here? Can you guys tell me what you do? What do you? What's your main job? What do you do? What do you do? <clears throat> Whatever you do with one hand, you really want to try to do with both hands, like no, my left hand. See how that comes around? Back and forth. Put your hands together. This is kind of the classic wave. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. It was on my first video in 1988 when I tried to share it with everybody. I probably, first time I saw this was around 1981, something like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember the, the exact day. Like, whoa, show that to me. That's pretty cool. I was actually a student teacher at Lakota. Hey, Mr. Irwin, can you do this? You couldn't do it very well. It kind of opens up. Shuts like that. So then I worked on it. It's like then there's all these variations. Can, who, have, who's, if you've seen that before, say, I've seen it. Can you do that? Who can do it? Who can do it just a little bit? Okay, then. Let's see, I want to show you guys a couple tricks. I would like to know, can you guys hear me? I want to sure if the comments are off, if you guys can hear anything at all. I would like to know. Hello? <laughs> I'm kind of new to, new to this, and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be looking, if the comments are happening or not. Not sure if I had to turn those comments on or what I got to do there. Can somebody say hello? So when I was a substitute school teacher many, many years ago, I uh, was kind of playing around with this idea of exercising my hands at the time and I had a pencil on my hands. So then I started this is my move, it's called pencil push-ups. See how that works? That's not that easy. Can you do it? If you can do it, say, I can do it. I'd like to know if you can do it or not. So, let's see here. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to learn how some of this works, everybody. I wasn't really sure. Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on here. <clears throat> well, anyway, my name's Gregor. When I started doing this back in the 70s, the idea of exercising your hands. It got me on television all around the world a few times. Um, and oh, I want to demonstrate, uh, let's see, I was going to do another trick for you guys. You guys like tricks, somebody said. How about a chopstick trick? You mean a hui shou zhong ma? Anybody speak Chinese in here? Or a putong hua bu chua? Or kua zhang te yi Or a putong hua ma ma hu hu? It's kind of so-so, really. This is a kind of a cool one, I think. This is a climbing. It's like a panda bear or maybe a sloth climbing a chopstick. Check this out. One, two, three. Watch out, everybody. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's just a silly trick, but... I'll tell you what, it really does work your dexterity. See? It 
There you go. That's uh, climbing a chopstick. See, you haven't seen that before, have you? I bet you haven't. So I'm just kind of learning this whole live stream out. I haven't really done this too too often, and just trying to figure out. I'm not sure. Again, if you guys can 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 if the comments are on, if they're turned off. Maybe nobody wants to say anything in here. Can somebody, if you guys can hear me, somebody just give me a hello. Uh, or I'm assuming, because I think sometimes they can be turned off. Okay, don't tell anybody. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let me show you one more trick here before I go. I've got to figure this stuff out a little bit more. I just don't quite understand the technical side of things so okay I've got two spheres here and I got one over here so I got three one real close How many do you see? How many do you see? Watch one, two. How many do you see? Done. <clears throat> well, I hope you guys like this. I'm having, like I said, a little communication trouble. I don't know why I can't receive anybody's messages. If you guys, can you let me know if you, uh, just a simple hi or what do I have to do to, uh, to see your messages or a thumbs up or any of that stuff? What do you got to do here? Because I'm not seeing any of that. I don't mean to be bugging you guys. I'm just kind of new at this. And uh, I don't think I can see anybody's comments here. Tony, how's this work? My uh, system here. Whoa, okay. I'll take one more look at this. I'm sorry, everybody. I wish somebody could fill me in on. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm going to try to maybe uh, do this a little more in the future. I'm trying to kind of get my chops together on how to do some of these uh, uh, things on here. And apparently, I'm not able to see the comments. Or maybe nobody wants to comment. <clears throat> I don't have any more commentary for that. A lot of times, I like to like answer questions and follow which uh, certain musicians or athletes want to know about things. So I want to thank everybody, though, for coming to the live right now, and I'm going to fix this soon. And I uh, hope to see you around. Please follow if you can. Thanks, everybody. See you later.